Hello, beautiful souls. This is Wild Hard Travels. <laughs> I have been meaning to get up on here because it is my it's a little personal goal on here to share and to uh, to be on here more frequently and to document my travels, to document my life and just to document, you know, my experiences and things of that nature. So here I am. Here's my dogs just hanging out. We are here at the Petersburg National Battlefield. This is one of my kind of go-to places for where I spend my day or at least spend some of my day. Um, and I actually am like in the process of cleaning my car and reorganizing and things. And so, you know, at this time I was like, Let's procrastinate on cleaning a little bit and make a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> um, here's my share. I wanted to share how my, how my relationship to doing van life and living in my car. Because I think there is a difference when you choose to do it versus when you feel forced to do it. And this last, th this time now it has felt more so like I was forced to do it because of not having a home base. Um, I recently went through um, an eviction at my old spot. And so I have had to um, utilize my, my only option at this point has been to, um, to do, to do the, to do the Jetta life. Um, and I want to say that as a creative, as someone who is in that, um, in the process of stepping deeper into my life path, what comes up for me is like creatives haven't really always had a safe space to be a creative. In a way, you have to have unwavering faith as an entrepreneur, business owner, creative, as somebody who wants to earn a, like a really decent living with their art, I think um, sometimes can be difficult when you're first starting out, at least your first few years of building up your fan base and building up your audience and building, uh, uh, opening yourself up to opportunities. And where I find myself now is just being in a place of um, really wanting and ready to be open to that next step of my life. You know, I feel really, really called to do music and really, really called to travel. And right now with me having really little money and without having my uh, socials be monetized right now, like they're there, they're right there. Um, I'm just really working on um, pushing that threshold so I can actually get paid to do what I love and to fully step into, you know, my path as an artist and as a healer and as someone who, who really gains so much life experience through my travels. It's just something that I truly love. I also, you know, dream of having the homestead. That's something else that I'm finding. Come here, girl. That's something else that I'm finding is that there are so many paths. There's so many paths that a multi-passionate creative can take. And when you are deciding which direction is in the most aligned for you, it's like, how do we find that? How do we connect with that? And for me, it's just been a process of uh, meditation, of silencing, you know, the chatter, the, the distractions and allowing myself to really connect in with my heart by, you know, being in silence, being in nature. And um, I also love talking to myself too. So a lot of times I'll like actually verbalize what, what I need to like work through. And it, it just, it really helps me. So I just wanted to hop on and say, this is where I'm at. This is the flow. This is the real raw and downright fucking truthful. You know, I'm in this space where I really desire to travel and I really desire to earn a, a living through my art, through my music, but also just feeling really fucking scared because I feel like I need the security of a nine to five in order to like actually 
level up like in in the car in the in in my car to get a bigger vehicle to actually have money for gas and to travel like these things really do require you know time energy effort money and all that so this was just my share for today i hope everybody is having a super awesome day and until next time much love